channel internet viewer. Okay, so I recently upgraded. That way would be better. I recently bought my Xbox One. So I really wanted to make a video on really my first impressions of the console. It's not really a review. It's just me kind of getting to grips with it because I also recently made another purchase, an Elgato capture device. So now I can pretty much capture game footage for just about any console I own now, which is good because I recently set up a Facebook page as well where you can go and you can request game reviews or anything like that. The link should be on my YouTube page. Okay, so really I wanted to, I, I was originally planning to make this video a few days ago. Uh, it didn't really work out. Uh, I only had a few hours to spare. I figured I had enough time to do it. But I decided to install all my games first because that's something you have to do now. You have to install your games. Uh, I have four games that I'm going to be having a look at in this video. I'm going to talk a bit about the console, a bit about the hardware, very, very briefly. Um, and then I'm going to talk about the four games I bought, which um, they're all fairly different games. Uh, so hopefully it should be interesting. They're just going to be short 10 minute clips uh, of just me playing. I'll probably split it into two videos, so you'll get the first two games at the end of this one and then the other two videos on the other one. Okay, so, right, let's get started. Actually, on the install note, a pretty interesting point. Is it worth console gaming anymore? Uh, that's probably a point I'd like to expand on more in the future, but consoles uh, gaming has always been about uh, ease. Uh, you can throw in a game, you can just play it if you've got friends around, uh, you can set up controllers and play multiplayer and with console gaming edging more towards being exclusively online play uh, and having to install games and things like that so you, it's not so easy just to throw in a game and play now. Uh, if you've got a decent game PC, would you just not use that now? Um, like I said, that's something to expand on in the future or perhaps in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. Um, okay, so first the console itself. It's sleek isn't the word I'd use to describe it. It's kind of just a big black block. Uh, I didn't get Kinect with mine. Uh, I will make that very clear right now. So some of the functionality of the menus I'm maybe not benefiting from. Um, essentially, yeah, it's a big black block with a little slot for your disc and a pretty little light. And it is a pretty little light. Uh, that's really all I can say for the look of the console, really. Uh, as for loudness, I found it to be very, very quiet. Um, uh, I know some people have talked about noise issues, but it's not really much one for me. Uh, as for the controller, um, am I the only person that really thinks this feels like it's a little cheaply made compared to the 360 controller? I mean, plastic. The, it just it feels cheap. Um, apart from that, it's actually very, very comfortable though. Um, there's other things about it which I may talk about as I'm gaming, I will see. Um, really, apart from that, uh, let's go to the menus and we'll have a look at those before I start looking at my first two games. Okay. Okay, so here we are with the Xbox menu. It actually looks very very similar to the old Xbox 360 menu um, not a great deal of difference between the two it's all very much the same layout oh look I have friends uh, just to prove anyone wrong uh, who said I have no friends and am a pathetic lonely mess okay yeah uh, the store yeah it's pretty much still there I <sighs> I imagine it's just going to be the same sort of thing as the 360. It, it's still all very familiar, so that's going to be nice for people to uh, remember. Ah, this is actually, yeah, I've just pressed the guide button and it's taken me to this. Um, okay, very different from before. Uh, I actually quite like the old shortcut menu. I thought that was kind of neat to have. But anyway, yes, um, I, I have messages too. Excellent. Um... <laughs> But yeah, uh, not really a lot more I can say about this. Um, it's all fairly easy to find your way around. As you can see, I'm not really having much difficulty here. Um, I have a message and an activity. Uh, sorry, activity on my account. Uh, an activity alert. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Um, right. Uh, yeah, so 
Shall we game then? Let's go and have a look. Okay, let's start with some reimagined nostalgia. What could it be? Ooh, Killer Instinct, an old Super Nintendo favourite of mine. Okay, um, the music sounds rather reminiscent of the old Super Nintendo version. Um, checking downloadable content. That's a good start. Let's keep my audience waiting. Um, if there is any audience at all, please let there be an audience. Ah, here we go. Okay. Um, yeah, single player, and it, um, what is this? Okay, yes, uh, if you aren't aware, there is a system where you can just purchase the game and then purchase individual characters. It's a big rip-off, uh, all based around cashing in. Uh, you might as well just buy the full game. If you're going to buy a game, you're going to want to try out all the characters and find one that suits you. Alright, let's just get into a fight. Yeah, just a basic CPU fight. Um, Fulgore. I always liked him. Where is he? Uh, ah, yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, so I do have a lot of fond memories of this game. Um, there are a couple of characters who I don't know here, though it's missing a lot that I do. Uh, oh, great, Glacius. Uh, the Iceman cometh. Okay, so just to let you know, this is the first time I've played any of these games. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm basically going to be running off of my old knowledge of the game. I haven't played this game in oh, over 20 years, maybe, something like that. Um, okay. Uh, okay, so I have no idea how I did that. Um, standard Ryu uppercut. Uh, oh, oh my god, there are super moves in this game? Uh, it's no real big surprise really, I mean super moves have now been a big part of games for a long time, it's just Killer Instinct was one which wasn't really famous for, it was more built, built around its combos. Um, tend to be a standard system if you do a special move, do a few regular moves, link it together with another special move which goes into more kind of like basic button presses. Uh, it seems to be following the same format here. Um, I have to say, this is hard. Um, it's very fast paced. It looks amazing. Um, like I say, this is, my, this is the first time I've played a game uh, after all my installing. Um, I'm very impressed so far. Um, in terms of looks and things like that, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, the Xbox One as well, it has the capability for 4K gaming on uh, 4K TVs. I know it's something that the PS4 isn't going to have. Uh, although it's 4K compatible, um, it's it's hard to explain. It's kind of, it has 4K. Ah, oh, there. Yeah, I've lost. Wonderful. Yeah, anyway, what I was saying, there are 4K uh, capabilities on the PS4. Like, for example, you can watch games in 4k and things like that but the gaming it's not going to support as far as I know unless there's been an update since so uh, I'm sure you'll correct me if I'm wrong about that whereas Xbox have always said we will support 4k gaming so as such the resolutions on a lot of these games have the potential to be even better um, okay yeah I'll try out Jago I was never a big fan of playing as him in the original first one um, I'll see if I have any more luck I'm determined to win a game of this thing and prove I just don't suck at fighting games. I've been playing them for a long time, both uh, your 3D sort of games and 2D. This is somewhere between the two. It's kind of like a 2D game based more heavily around combination fighting uh, rather than, say, your Street Fighter where there's sometimes a lot of tactical backing off and launching special moves at certain times. Um, but yeah, Jago is your basic Ryu Ken blow. Again, I still have no idea how to do combo breaks or anything like that. Uh, monster combo. That, I feel, was more luck than skill. Um, although, 
like I say, I am aware of the system, the fighting system of these games. You kind of have to mix up your special moves with button presses. Uh, okay, um, I'm going to say right off the bat, if, if you're fairly new to fighting games, this game is going to annoy the hell out of you, because this is tough. This is really tough. Um, like I say, I've been playing these games since the original, like, one on the Super Nintendo and things like that. Um, knockout. I, I have no idea what that is. I, I need to get to full grips with this game before I do something like a review on it. Um, but yeah, um, it's good though. I do like it. It's certainly challenging, just I do want to win a game of this before I call it quits. Oh, this is depressing. Come on, I have to get a round on him at least. Uh, oh, oh, I'm still alive. Oh, that's okay. I still have some degree of pride in check. Uh, all he has to do is breathe on me though and I'm pretty much die. I'll pretty much be over. Uh, okay. And there we go. He could have sneezed, and it would have done more. Uh, I still haven't got to grips with like the um, uh, super meter. I was trying your basic kind of like uh, Street Fighter style commands. Um, oh, another thing I wanted to say actually, having played this, uh, going back to the controllers, the D-pad is much improved on this. Um, it really. The old Xbox controller, it was almost unplayable without a special controller. Um, because the D-pad on the 360 controller is just awful. There's no precision to it at all. The new controller definitely feels far more precise. Um, I'm not going to leave this game until I've at least won a fight, so... Um, this could be a hell of a lot longer than I intended it to be. <laughs> um, So yeah, Saber Wolf. When in doubt, go for a werewolf. Against your Mike Tyson clone. Well, I think you could even call him an, uh, a Balrog clone, even. And things aren't looking good again already. Again, I have no idea what I just did. Uh, definitely need to look into the mechanics a bit more on this. But as for the sound, it all sounds very good, very, very clean. The, um, considering that this is a dying genre of games, uh, although it's been very much revived by, say, Street Fighter 4 and things like that, um, you're still not seeing... I mean, fair enough, we've got Mortal Kombat 10 later on. Uh, which is another one to look forward to. Again, I don't know what this lockout thing is. It doesn't really explain it to you. Um, I couldn't see any difficulty settings when I was looking earlier either, so... It just seems like you're just thrown into it. It just adapts to you, I suppose. Ooh. Okay. But it, I've got to admit, it does feel good when you're pulling off these big combos in this game. Uh, it feels rewarding. Oh, I've just noticed. Hard punch and hard kick. Um, okay. Right, that's not it, but that's certainly something. Ah, oh, it's a shame I couldn't finish that off, really. Again, like I say, this is me just starting on this, so you've got to give us a bit of a break here. I'd like to find out how to do those ultra combos at the end, and I... Yes! Nice! I finally won. So yeah, that's it for Killer Instinct, really. Um, I like it. It's 
really, really cool for a big cash-in game anyway. And I have achievements. Excellent. Okay, um, so yeah, um, it's a good start. We'll be moving on to the next game now. I think I'll move on to the game that I mo I've most been wanting to play. Um, so yeah, let's switch over now. So I'm now looking at Dragon Age Inquisition. This is the game that I actually bought the console for because my my laptop it struggles with games with which gate. have large worlds which have to render a lot and it would annoy me to play this game with all sorts of struggles and things like that um so yeah i decided to buy the console for this um i'm also hoping to play a bit of multiplayer with a friend of mine um and i'll probably be reporting on that i'll probably do a review on this at some point um, but anyway, I've spared you the character creation and all the introduction video, otherwise this video would either be gameplayless in the time and the amount of time that I wanted to record this for, um, or it would be very long. One, it would have been one of the two. Okay, so basically the introduction video was basically uh, this woman with a European accent telling me that there's a glowy greeny thing about me. Uh, that killed a load of people except for me, and I'm being held responsible for that. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm having a bit of trouble here, bear with me. Um, there we go, okay. Um, so far, it, it looks pretty. I've noticed there's a few drops in frame rates every now and again, which is a little disconcerting, but uh, it looks nice anyway. Um, Everything well, some good sound on this as well. Um, I have to say, it doesn't look overly next gen. Um, it looks, don't get me wrong, it looks better than an Xbox 360 game. Uh, definitely looks Stay better. But, um, admittedly, it, it's not going to look three years down the line as one of the best looking next gen games really um it's good enough though it is good enough okay so let's see how combat is on this game press right trigger to attack simple enough hold it to continuously attack okay that kind of okay so it feels like i'm doing less right now i suppose when i start getting used to using a few skills it'll get it'll get a bit more entertaining oh i'm splattered with blood fantastic Drop your weapon oh. now. No, no, I will not. Um, if you're going to leave you disapprove. Fantastic. Valley, you'll have to trust me. Um, Give me one reason to trust you. Because my life is on the that's line. That's not really a reason to trust someone. It's you're a reason right. to tolerate them. But oh well. Um, it's one thing that's always seemed a little off and about Bioware games. You, you choose an option, a dialogue option, and it it says something slightly different to what you're expecting it to say. Um, I should remember but I love these games though, the stories in. always tend to be very entertaining. And there's my character, close up. Ooh, health potions. Um, let's, yeah, let's have a gulp on that. Take these um, Make a nose what we will face. Tastes like cherry. Where are all your soldiers? I imagine. At the forward camp, I don't know what those little symbols are, are but uh... A health meter. I'm really not sure. What have you got? Oh, you have a scout hat. Uh, how ridiculous does it look? Oh, fantastic. That is suitably ridiculous. I am sticking with that. Nothing yells intimidation like looking like a twat. I have gone for a rogue class. I don't know why, I just decided it'd be fun. about combat effects, most of it got time to pass before reuse. Standard RPG fare, really. Um, so, yeah, let's use a skill. There, watch out! Ooh! Invisibility. Okay, so you jump down, I'll attack from here. Like I said, this whole hack and slash thing doesn't feel very rewarding right now, and that's very precise of me. I 
Okay. But so far, so good. Um, it's a decent game. I can see myself losing hours to this. So if I don't make a video for a while, it's probably because of this. No, he definitely can't see me. Up on the hill. It's from a distance. Is that me weakened? I don't know, I saw... Yeah, that's me weakened. That little bastard is attacking me. Okay, stop it already. Oh god, he's glowing green. Come back here. I may be weakened, but I can still kick your ass. There we go. This time I shall try and sneak up on one of the greeny things. It sounds like more sound tactical acumen. There we go, surprise! And my other skill worked as well this time. I wonder what the blue bar is. I don't think that's really been explained to me yet. Okay, he's had enough. I'm getting overindulgent in my button pressing. Some spirit essence? I don't know what that'll be for. Hope there's a good crafting system with this game. We're getting close to the rift. That'd be kind of cool. Hear the fighting. Who's fighting? You'll see soon. Must help them. Who to sneak up on this time? Uh, you! Oh, that was fairly straightforward. Oh, well, nothing to it so far. Tower! Oh, uh well. That was unexpected. I did nothing. The credit is yours. Um. At okay. Least good for something. You were kind Whatever of the one who took my wrist and held it up to the sky. That mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. So we're running on theory. I was correct. Meaning it could also close the breach itself. Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Again, for Good a moment, know. the Here graphics just kind of phased out there for a forever. moment. Um, his Eric bald Jeffers, head became rogue, slightly pixelated. And occasionally unwelcome tag along. Smooth. I like his crossbow. That's a nice crossbow you have there. It's the size of ah, him. Isn't she? Bianca and I have been through. You named your crossbow Bianca? Of course. Because he and sleeps with be great her. company in the valley. Oh Absolutely god. Not. Christ. Um Your help is appreciated, Varric, but Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. Ugh. My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. I am pleased to see you still live. He means I kept that mark from killing you while you slept. Huh? You seem to know a great deal about it all. Solus is an apostate. Well versed in such matters. Technically, all mages are now apostates, Cassandra. My travels have allowed me to learn much of the Fade. Far beyond the experience of any circle mage. I came to offer whatever help I can give with the breach. If it is not closed, we are all doomed, regardless of origin. That's a commendable attitude. 
Merely a sensible. I'm not playing this much, the rogue. Your sense appears to be in short hmm. supply right now. Maybe I should change that. You should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I've seen. Your prisoner is no mage. Indeed, I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. Okay. Well... I didn't realize he was a little excited. man until now. Right. I do love that helmet. It's this so way, terrible. The bank. The road ahead is blocked. We must move quickly. Control other party members. Excellent. But no, I have to play as me. Always me. Right, um. Head. Let's get now, one seeker. little fight in before we wrap things up on this game. Uh, like I say, otherwise I will be playing this for hours. Oh, great, I'm not learning. Let's just wrap it up here. Okay. Right, so be sure to tune in for part two, uh, which will be coming up very, very soon. See you then.